Coco in the Community is sponsored by Scandinavian Designs. Modern style for every budget. Well, one of the most famous streets right here in Denver is home to an exciting and vibrant pop-up art experience. Now, this will be artist Daryl Anderson's first solo show, and we're so happy to have him here this morning to talk about his work and the show titled Mediums. Hello, Daryl. It's good to see you. Hello. I'm glad to be here. Well, first of all, I want people to get to know you and the fascinating man that you are. Okay, before you became a professional artist, you served in the Army, so thank you for your service. That's but right. you were also the very first male flight attendant with Frontier. So you've broken many oh. barriers here. Yes, I have. You know, being the first male flight attendant for Frontier, my mother said, go get a job after I got out of the military. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden, I applied for Frontier Airlines, and I ended up getting the job, and it was me and 300 women. Really? Well, <laughs> okay. Well, did you enjoy that job at least? Like, was it, were there some benefits to it? Uh, uh, tremendous benefits because I realized uh, what a beautiful education I could get from all of these women. Right? Who were just <laughs> as sharp as they could possibly be. So my education just expanded itself and uh, it was a wonderful job. That is so good to hear. Well, let's talk about art because somewhere along the lines, art was always calling you. And let's explain the art to our viewers here. What stories do you like to tell through your work? Well, what's nice about this show, I get to show a variety of mediums. And it's mm -hmm. sort of like the journey of my life being that uh, I'm always taking risk of doing new things with different mediums. So that's what really... Um, permeates my soul. So this show allows me to show all different types of mediums from charcoals to uh, uh, pen and ink to um, what, uh, oil and uh, pencil. That's great. So in this show that uh, you just mentioned, you called mediums, what does that name really convey for you? Where did the name come from? Well, it, it comes from, from, a, from an art perspective of uh, different varieties of uh, work that you can create. Mm -hmm. And so the pencils are about uh, meditation because it's one line at a time. Okay. The oil paintings about mixing color and having relationships. Um, and then when I talk about oil pastel, I get to pick up a bar of color without mixing anything and I can create right from the palette and go right to the surface and, uh, and uh, create wonderful work. That is so inspiring. And speaking of that, Daryl, what would you say is the biggest inspiration for you? I don't know how it works with art. For me, I'm a musician. I get random oh. moments of inspiration. But how does it work for you? When are you most inspired to do something? Well, you know, the other day I'm coming to the art show. I look up, I look up top, and there's this half of American flag waving at the clock tower. Uh -huh. And so I'm noticing the uh, relationships of those shapes. And so when I tell my wife, she goes, uh, you know, like uh, that brain of yours is always ticking. But for me, <laughs> it's about absorbing what's in front of me, uh, what's happening from sound, smell, talk, all of these things integrated in, into my work. That is so fabulous. Well, what do you want people to experience when they come out and see mediums? I want them to pause and take a a visual um, journey through a two-dimensional surface because fortunately or unfortunately today we are bombarded by instant gratification through the mm -hmm. technology that we have and for me when you can get people to pause and look at a piece and actually discover whether they love it or if they don't and the reasons why I get very enthusiastic about this because we're always moving a thousand miles an hour and my work gives you an opportunity to pause. That is a wonderful message because you're absolutely right. Life is passing by way too quickly and it's so good to just stop for a moment and mm -hmm. enjoy uh, truly the surroundings because it, there's beauty everywhere, especially in your work. Now, going back to a fantastic life that you've had, uh, different careers, but when, in between all that, did you say, art is truly my calling here? Like, this was this from a young age, or when did it start for you? It has always been there, but then navigating my life from the background that I came from, it was about that 
I learned how to love myself to take the biggest risk on what I wanted to do. Okay. And all of a sudden, that was crea uh, creativity and art. And that was the greatest gift I had given myself after leaving Frontier Airlines, which is a wonderful job, and I said, you need to go be an artist. And so, a small story, Linda Benzo, who has since passed, she was one of the first pieces, uh, one of the first people who bought my artwork years ago. Oh, wow. And it was such, and she gave me the inspiration when we had a negotiating situation about what the work would cost, is that um, it gave me inspiration. I looked up one day and said, because of her, all my bills would pay, I could take a vacation, and I never looked back since then. That is an incredible story. Daryl, congratulations. I'm so happy that you're doing what you love and you are certainly good at it. So we're looking forward to going over to Larimer Square and seeing more of it. Thanks so much for being on the show and today. And thanks again for having me and sharing Absolutely. my Absolutely. It was a true pleasure. Okay, everyone. Daryl Anderson, Medium's pop-up art exhibition is in the Magpie Arts Gallery and that's on Larimer Square right now through November the 26th. For more info, just go to LarimerSquare.com slash Daryl Anderson. Scandinavia Design sponsored today's Coco in the Community Story. Shop showrooms in Denver, Westminster, or Highlands Ranch or shop online at ScandinavianDesigns.com.